This is Terry from Tree Marie Soapworks. Today I'm going to be making restocks of this bar called Irish Tweed and I'm going to be showing you my technique for doing this swirl called Taiwan Circling Swirl. I'm going to be using green Irish Tweed for the fragrance, yellow oxide, and brown oxide and also titanium dioxide for the colorants. These are all from Elements Bath and Body. And I'm just using 1 8 teaspoon of yellow oxide. And this is my way of mixing colorants, especially oxides and ultramarines. They tend to get just specks in the batter when you cut them, they smear and it's just one of my pet peeves with my soap. So I use a pellet knife and I just get it all smashed down so there's no little little specks of color in there. And this is brown oxide and I'm only using a sixteenth of a teaspoon for this one. And the same here I just put a little bit of olive oil and just get it all dispersed evenly with no little specks. And strain your lye solution, that is your water and lye and also sodium lactate if you're using that, into your oil solution. And these oils are already melted and it's all your all the liquid oils and the hard oils. And you just stick blend until emulsion is reached. Okay, now at this point, I figured out what a third of the batter is. And now I'm gonna just divide that off into three pitchers. Okay, next I'm going to be adding a half a teaspoon of titanium dioxide mixture to the, each of the end pitchers, and then one tablespoon of titanium dioxide mixture into the middle one. And my titanium dioxide mixture is, is just a one to three mixture of titanium dioxide to olive oil. And now I'm just adding the yellow and brown colorant to the, each of the end pitchers. And now I'm just putting a third of the fragrance oil into each of the pitchers. And feel free to just eyeball it. I always am a stickler with using just the right amount of grams, but a lot of people just eyeball and it comes out fine. And so now you want to stick blend until just light trace. You need your batter to be fluid when you're doing this technique or it won't swirl. It'll barely drag, so make sure that it's still very fluid. I want to tell you a little bit about the dividers. These dividers I made myself from help from my friend Helene in Canada, and I will share a link to her channel in the description below. But you can also get dividers from Brambleberry for this mold. Okay, now this fragrance oil did not accelerate at all, so I had to stick blend a few times to get this to 
light trace. So now it's time for pouring and I usually just start with the center and and pour either side. You don't want to pour the whole thing full the first shot because the well with these the dividers tend to bend but and I always keep my left hand on the mold and just pour with my right hand until it doesn't seem like it would go underneath because a lot of times it would just go underneath and seep to the other side of the divider. Now you just remove your dividers. And clean up any messes. And I'm going to show you this skewer. It's called a skinny stick and I got it at Walmart. And it's a flat stick, smaller than a popsicle stick. And I inserted it parallel to the long side of the mold. And I was just kind of experimenting to see if this would drag more than the, the round skewer and I think it is and so I just wanted to see the difference. And when you get to the end, just pull your stick out and and then you can you just turn it 90 degrees and go around the mold and this time you're dragging the other direction. So when you go up and down, those directions don't drag, but the left and right directions drag. And just try to tap out any air bubbles without disturbing the, the pretty swirls. And here's the soap out of the mold. For this kind of design you have to cut it horizontally. I'm just splitting this and then I'm going to split it again because I have to fit it in my boxes so that top one needs to be shortened just a bit. I want to show you the difference. This one on the left here, I used that, that flat stick and the one on the right I used a skewer. And you can see where the one on the left with the stick is much more, it has much more drag than the one on the right. So I just wanted to show you the difference so that you would know which, which way you like the best and which way you want to use. So I'm going to create a poll to see which one you like so you can just answer which if you like the left one which is the flat stick or if you like the right which is the skewer. And now I'm beveling the long edges. Beveling is totally optional. You do not have to do that at all. It's just 
Um, when I hold a bar in my hand, I like the feel of a bar that's beveled better than the sh those sharp edges. So I just bevel all my soap. You know, I put the bars back together so I have to have less cuts to make, so I just mark it and cut it every two inches. And then get my 10 bars and then go into the next one and mark it again. And cut them into two inch bars. Okay, now is just the time when I bevel all the bars. If you like this tutorial, I have a written tutorial that I made for elementsbathandbody.com. If you look in the Learning Center, you can find this under the soap heading. Also, if you have any techniques that you would like to learn and aren't sure how to do, um, leave them in the comments and if I know how to do it, I can make a tutorial on that. So just just let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. If you're new to soap making and you have any questions, please ask and also if there's anything you, you just don't know how to do, like I'm thinking about making a tutorial on how to use soap calc. So if that would be something valuable to you, just let me know in the comments. I just want to thank you for watching my video. And um, if you like my videos, just give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications. And I'm going to try to make videos every week if I can. So check in and see how I'm doing. Thank you and have a great day.